Welcome to Squim Real Estate Questions and Answers. I'm your host, Chuck Morundi, your favorite exclusive buyer's agent in sunny Squim, Washington. Hey, today I want to clarify and expand a little bit on the subject of private wells, in particular, when a cistern is needed because there isn't enough gallons per minute. So let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, uh, Clellum PUD, the uh, Public Utility District, has asked customers to voluntarily reduce their water use, but if you'll notice, it's a very, very small area called Carlsberg, Evergreen, Fairview, and Panoramic Heights. <clears throat> so we really are not suffering a significant drought of any kind here, like in so many places in the country, all the way from uh, Wyoming, Colorado, down through Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and California. We're very lucky. We still have a lot of water up here, and we're not having serious problems at all. Uh, this is a very, very minor issue. Now, Clellan County does have a website, and uh, you can you can find it by just going on Google and typing uh, Squim Drought or Clellan County Drought, and you'll be able to pull up this website. It shows you that our current condition is uh, moderate, meaning that um, it's not abnormally dry, but... Um, but it's not a severe drought either of any kind or even of the, the more serious kinds. And here we are right here. Squim is over here, as you can see me pointing. And um, we're not under any severe threat of drought. However, uh, we're all aware of what's going on, I'm sure, in Lake Mead. Here's Hoover Dam and Lake Mead has dropped 140 some feet. Um, wow. So we have that. We have, of course, uh, Lake Oroville, which is some kind of major disaster right now in terms of drawdown. Um, and you can see uh, this is really hitting farmers hard, especially in California. Uh, coming back to Squim, we're very, very lucky. We don't seem to have real serious water problems here of any kind. Uh, here's the Squim Dungeness River. Uh, plenty of water in Squim Dungeness. Gorgeous river. All of these photos and videos are photos that I've taken over the years. This is way up in the mountains above Squim. Squim Dungeness River. Just love that river. Really beautiful up there. And by the way, I did lose a drone in this river as I was trying to do some... <laughs> aerial video. Let's talk about cisterns. If you have a well and it only produces a couple of gallons per minute, uh, you may need a 1,000 gallon cistern or a storage tank as it's called. Uh, there are various kinds of storage tanks. Uh, here's a concrete storage tank that uh, one person has in Squim. And then there are bigger storage tanks you can get if you want to. This is more of a commercial brand right here. Uh, you can have a uh, water filter if you need it. Uh, some people will have a water filtration system like this because they have high mineral content. And uh, it's not that it's unsafe for you to drink. It's just that uh, you don't want all that iron in your water system. So what I want to tell you is that if you have a well that only produces, uh, let's just say one to one and a half gallons, two gallons a minute, two and a half gallons a minute, you're probably going to want a 1,000 gallon cistern. That will store the extra water you need. And uh, I've never had anybody run out around here, even uh, on a property that I sold to somebody that only had one gallon per minute, they had a, a cistern and they never ran out of water. Well, the cistern itself is the water that you draw down and then it's filling up constantly, even at one gallon per minute. So Unless you're doing something commercially outside in large volumes, you're not going to run out of water. Uh, most of our wells in the area uh, produce pretty well. And we're talking uh, 8, 10, 18 gallons per minute. More water than you'll ever use. And let me say that um, number doesn't mean a whole lot really because... The amount of uh, the water that your well produces or pumps is going to be dependent upon the capacity of the well pump itself, the pump that's down in the well pipe. 
And uh, so <laughs> we don't have serious water problems here. I just want everybody to let that know, know that and also let you know that even if you don't have a high producing well, 8, 18, 12, or 20, 30 gallons per minute, um, you can still have a low producing well the cistern and have all the water you need in the world. And so if you have any questions on that, you can always reach out to me and I'll be glad to help if I can. Um, again, Chuck Marundi and you can reach me or text me at 360-775-5424 and look at this beautiful river. <laughs>